Hi friends, Karen Viswetsa. Today I'm super excited to bring you a weighted dumbbell workout with our Spox Fit weight bench. So this weight bench, when it arrives, you get an entire workout chart with exercises for the full body, lower body, upper body, and core. So if you're not sure of what to do, you can post that on the wall and I will explain more about the bench as we move along the workout. We're gonna grab a light, medium, heavy set of dumbbells today. We're gonna focus on strength and we're gonna keep good form and posture. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. I want you to start in a parallel position with a little micro bend to the knee, rolling your shoulders back. Think of a tall and strong posture. Rising up those arms and drop that out. Lifting arms as you drop your seat into that squat. I want you to come back now over the bench. So it's as if you were gonna sit down on the bench, but you're just gonna hover those glutes off. Four more here and four, warming it up. Three, hard focus work today, two and one. Watch my arms, we're gonna come down and squeeze that upper back. Beautiful, four more here, four. So the nice thing about this bench is it has six adjustments for the upper incline and decline, and then four adjustments for the chair, right? Last one, let's take those legs together, stepping out to the right, side lateral lunge, and stepping out to the left. Okay, that outside leg is bending, the inside leg is staying straight, four more, three, two, and one, high knee, pull. Good, good, just holding that posture. Now firing the back muscles as if you're doing a little lat pull. I want you to squeeze the back and pull the arms. Four more, three, two, last one, and rest. Grabbing your heavy set of dumbbells. Keep your load close to you. All right, so I'm gonna step around here, bending, grabbing the heavy load. Your first exercise, you're gonna start seated. We're gonna come up from seated to stand to a curl press. So I want you to focus on that tall, strong alignment. Each exercise we're doing for 45 seconds on with a 20 second rest recovery, transition to the next. So let's start here. Seated tall, what is your heavy load? Challenging, but stay safe. Squeeze the glutes, lift up, curl, press. Now we're coming all the way down, right to that chair. Sit down, fire the legs, curl, press. Good, nice thing about that bench here, guys, you add variation to your workout. You get into positions that maybe you can't get onto in the floor, right? Keep that form, keep that flow, squeeze. Functional moves, right? How do you get from seated to standing? Getting out of a chair, coming out of your car. Turn on that seat. You have it, one more, and release that. We're gonna bring the right leg on, the left leg comes front. So we're gonna go in to a Bulgarian split squat. You're loading your front leg, chin is off that chest. Dropping down, we're gonna load the front glute, exhale, fire up, all right? Let's go, and drop down, rise up. Now, if you were to look at my side view here, you're gonna see that front leg is like a squat. All right, so I want you to focus on loading that front leg. The back leg, you might feel a stretch in that quad and hip, all right? But you're really loading that front glute, and it's burning. Chin is off that chest, lift it up. Beautiful work, everybody. How are we feeling? We got 45 seconds on with each. A little 20 second of that transition. Burning glute, burning quad, and switch. All right, we got the other leg coming on. So make sure your front foot is stable. The back leg is on the bench. Think hip distance apart, and then we take that back. All right, find your balance. Chin is off chest. Maybe you're doing this with no load today. All right, what works for you? Maybe you're holding onto a wall here. Find that strength, let's go down, load the front. Exhale, lift. Squeeze, 
Little split squat position, firing that seat. Notice how that breath is super important here. Coming down and rising back up. Oh yeah, we got a full body workout today. Ready feeling this as we wake up to the end. Good, good, good. Work to the finish. Legs are shaking a little bit. There it is. And shake that out. Nice job. All right, we're coming here with one dumbbell. Now, you're going to make sure your upper back is anchored onto the bench. Glute squeeze. So option one, I got my upper back here. Head is up, gazing in front. Hips dip, squeeze. That's your bridge. If you're okay, you're going to add that load here. Just holding the load toward the thighs. Down, lift it up. Squeezing the buttocks, using that exhale. Maybe you need more support here. All right, not pulling on that neck. Think about that lower body. Dipping down, legs are parallel. Fire it right up. Good, good, good. Turning on the lower body first today. To the end. Drop down, squeeze. Make sure you're using that exhale. Turn on the seat. And one more. Come out of that beautiful work. All right, dumbbell to the side for now. We're gonna be kneeling on the bench, okay, with the left leg. The right leg is coming behind us. Palms under the shoulders, shoulders off those ears. We don't wanna lean to the side, so we're lifting through that left hip. Point that right toe, you're lifting up, okay? Use that exhale. All right, this bench is 30, it holds 600 pounds. You also see the grip on here. The material is sweat resistance, which I definitely need. All right, rise up. Now, listen, if your hips are tight, this might be the movement. I need you to stabilize the core. Turn on the shoulder girdle, squeeze the glute, and lift. Draw your mind to the muscle. All right, if we just go through the movements, we're gonna take using momentum and muscles that we don't necessarily wanna activate first, turning on, All right? Like, I don't want the low back to swing to do this work. Using that breath, stabilize core, and switch legs, all right. Same thing here, I'm just switching. Make sure again, if you're leaning, lift through the core. Imagine my hand is here, I'm pressing your leg forward and you're lifting up. So you're turning on these abductor muscles, stabilizing the sh shoulder girdle, knee and hip aligned, and squeeze. Good, good. Bring that leg up, lower it down. You are strong. Find it in you. And lift. Beautiful. Make sure that head is not dropping. Use that exhale. All you need is a few minutes out of your day. Get in your workout, get your mindset right. You're gonna be more productive, more focused. Likelihood to eat healthier throughout the day, right? Especially when we get that workout in nice and early. Fire it up and rest. Excellent job. All right, we need a heavy load here, medium to heavy. We're going into that row. When we go into the row, I don't want you to stop here. The back muscles need to turn on. So we need to retract that scapula, feel the back turning on. All right, your right leg is down, left knee is on the bench, left wrist is underneath that left shoulder. And we're gonna row it back. Firing the back, using that exhale, right? I don't want to just stop here and think arm, bicep, right? It's back turning on. Yes, the bicep recruits a little bit, of course, but we're getting that power from the back. There it is. Stay long through the spine. So your posture here is super important, right? Working unilaterally here, one side. That core has to turn on a bit more to keep us nice and balanced. Keeping that pelvis neutral. Fire it back. How are we doing? And switch. Good, we got the other side. 
Okay, remember your heavy load. Was that too light for you? Can you go a little bit heavier? I wanna challenge you with your load, keeping your good form. Get ready. Palm comes under. Right palm under, right knee Shh, is under the hip. Again, we're not leaning, gaze is down. Whew, row it back. Fire back, using that exhale. Spine is staying long. Good, good, good. Way to work. Keep pushing through. Remember your strength, how good you're gonna feel after the workout, right? That's what's important. Creating a balanced lifestyle, right? Not a quick fix, not a binge diet, but balance. That's key to success. One more and nice work. All right, I'm gonna bring the dumbbells closer. Starting here with both heavy loads. Starting here on the bench, we're gonna lie down for chest press. So I want you to come down, elbows bent, fire up and return. Okay, using that breath, the deep core is turning on first. So I want you to think navel draws into spine. Exhaling, think a 10% contraction through the deep core, giving you that stability, giving you that work through the chest. Pressing up and lowering down. Good, good, good. All right, get ready. Now, next set, we're gonna turn this to a chest fly. Open for two, close in. Option two, we're gonna take the legs to tabletop. Option three, chest fly, one leg reaches out, opposite leg. Okay, what works here for you? Maybe your feet are still down on the bench. Inhale, open, exhale, return. Good, good, good. Work through to the end. Feeling those chest muscles, keeping our backs from arching, right? So that's where that stabilization comes in. Squeezing that glute on the way out to extend that hip. Challenging the core with that lengthened lever. We feel that one more here and return. Now, feet are coming back down. Maybe they're to the floor. See whatever is comfortable for you. Elbows are in. You're gonna make the capital letter A. We're gonna start with the elbows toward the rib cage. Come up to make that triangular movement. <sighs> Squeezing through the chest. You got your A press. Chest, shoulders, back. You're feeling the forearms and the triceps with this one. Keeping your head rested and press through. There you go. Right to the finish. Right to the end. Good, good, good. Last one. Press and we rest. Excellent job. From here. What I want you to focus on, getting rid of the load here and keeping that stability through the center. We're gonna start with a bent knee, right? Your inner thighs are squeezing together. We're gonna drop down, exhale, lift up. So it's a lift and lower with the legs challenging the core. Option two, straight legs, get ready. Drop down, exhale. We only go as low as we can without feeling that low back arch, right? Bring it up, inhale down, exhale. If we're tighter today, right through the hamstrings or the hips, bend those knees, shorten that lever, or if we have to focus more on learning how to engage that deep core, bend the knees today. Good, good, good. Bring it up. Stabilize, take your time. That breath is what's helping you lift those legs. We have one more, my friends, and roll up to seated. Way to work. Okay, what I want you to do is start here lying on your belly to the end of the bench. So this 
nice component about the bench is we get to go from hip flexion to hip extension to really recruit the glutes. All right, something we can do on a ball, but we can't really do on the floor. So see how my hips are lower than the actual bench, pointing the toes in hip flexion, squeeze, hold, and then come down. Draw the belly, squeeze, hold, and come down. All right, so I want you to lift through the pelvic floor, turn on the abdominals, fire the glutes, squeeze the buttocks, do we feel that? And come down, I'm having you pause on top. So you're not thinking momentum, but you're getting into the seat. There it is, and lower. Lift, 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 and return. Rising up to that top, and we lower. One more, and rest. Nice job. So we can scoot up a little bit. We're gonna still gaze down. We got light to medium load. So moving into our reverse fly, this is the movement. Right, if the load feels too much today, you're gonna practice without the dumbbells, keeping the neck long. Any shoulder neck sensitivity, do it without the load today, all right? Otherwise, we're here, feet are to the floor, lift up. Drawing in through the abdominals. Reversing that fly. Good, good, good. Staying strong. Working through the medial deltoids. The gaze is toward that bench. Great here for our posture, right? Especially if we're sitting at a desk for long periods of time. Strengthening the opposing muscles of the chest and rest. Excellent job. Coming here to seated position, we're gonna go right into some dips, all right? So what I want you to do here, make sure your elbows are back, shoulders off those ears. Maybe you're just scooching off and holding here and coming back. Full dip, drive, elbows back, press it up, yes? Good. Now, you wanna try a challenge? You can do one leg and switch. See what works. Maybe you're staying with both feet down today. Just make sure if you're going alternating, you're maintaining that posture of the upper body. Fire through those arms. I know friends, I'm feeling it with you. That's why we call it work, right? <laughs> go, go, go. Drop, lift, and it's burning. Right to the end. Here it is, and beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna turn my bench. Just wanna show you how cool this is. So we have the bands. We didn't even get to the bands in today's workout, but you can add a lot of shoulder work. You can add flies with that, front raises as you're seated. We're gonna come on our bench with both feet to a side plank. So come to the forearms, both feet are on, lifting up, shoulder stabilizing and rise, hold. Option two, we're dipping the waist, lifting up. All right, make sure we're not going into that shoulder. So I wanna stabilize around that shoulder girdle. Inhale, dip. Oh, we lift. We're feeling that. Slowly lower and rise. Stay long through your neck and your head. We're scooping up the floor with our waist, yes? Drop and rise. Lower, this is burning. Listen to your options. Maybe just holding. We know we gotta do the other side. Coming down, excellent job. All right, now, what I want you to do is come to the other side. I'm just getting our load ready for your next set. Opposite, plank set up, shoulder elbow aligned. Use your hand here to lift up if you need. Feet are on the bench, arm is up, holding. Maybe that's where you're at today. Can you think of your body in one strong like line? Option two, dip the waist, lift it up. Not getting into that shoulder, right? Think waist, exhale, you're scooping up the floor with that lower waist. Inhale down, exhale, fire it up. Way to work. Right to the end, friends. 
I know you have it in you. Good, good, good. Less than 10 seconds. We're gonna feel that waist tomorrow, I love it. Go, go, go. And come down carefully off the side. Now, we're gonna bring, we have six positions here. I'm gonna bring it all the way up to 75 degrees, right? Come to seated, grabbing our heavy dumbbells. See how easy that is. Seated nice and tall, shoulders neutral, bicep curl. Take it down. Now, just because we're seated doesn't mean we're here, all right? I want you to get that nice, strong posture. Curl up, resist, exhale and resist. Feeling that work, feeling the burn. Elbows stay into that waist. Hammer curl, lower. Slowly come up, resist. Good, good, good. How we doing? To the finish, to the end, and rest. We got shoulder press next. Right here, medium to heavy. Can we do heavy? Challenge yourself, maybe you're alternating. Maybe you do half the time with your heavier load, right? As long as we're not compensating form. Tall in the sits bones, think neutral spine, never holding our breath. Let's go, exhale to press. Few moves out of your day, getting stronger. Not just physically, but mentally, right? Having discipline takes a lot of mental work. Telling yourself not to hit snooze, right? Mindset is everything. Think of the way your mind works every day. Count backwards from five if you're going down that negative spiral. Change the path. Think of something good, productive, plentiful, and go from there. Push to the end and rest. All right, I'm going lighter for the next set. I was looking for my lighter load for those lateral raises, right? Because I want to keep my form. Seated tall, chin off chest. This is your final exercise of the day. Get ready and rise up, lateral arms. Take it down. Exhale with that little lower. Notice how it feels when we go slow. Definitely not easier. Feel those muscles recruit. Turn on the deep core. Beautiful work. Few more. Right to the finish. Feeling those arms. Getting stronger, push to the end. You can do this. Last two, let's go. One more here. And my friends, we are done. If you have a little more time, you're feeling energized, I want you to skip the warm up and start from exercise one. All right? If you're done for the day, way to go. Make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. Check out the link below for 15% off of this weight bench that is super lightweight. And I just want to show you here because I was the one that put this together. So that tells you it's pretty simple. To take it apart here, you take out the pin with the knob. You take out the second pin, sliding to everything down, right? And the nice thing is if you don't have a lot of storage, it can fold up really small, right? So check that out. And boom, you can store it in a closet, in a corner of the room, nice and stackable for your convenience. So friends, thank you for joining me. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're looking for longer workouts in my workout program, join the Fit Club below. I'll give you all the details and check out the link for 15% off your Spox Fit Weight Bench. Have a beautiful day. Keep working hard and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all for working out with me today. Take care.